all right guys well welcome back to subnautica below zero again i am starting off this whole adventure right in the middle of actually exploring oh wait look it's a fucking prod suit one out of four is is there more of you guys i want i want more but um yeah welcome back to subnautica below zero as you can see we are down here in a mine i'm out here looking for artifact I think it's Q59. I think that's the one that's the closest. Uh, I don't know how long this thing takes to come back, though. I have Taco all the way up there. But basically, I'm after Artifact Q59. And uh, I found this mine. So I don't know where this mine is going to lead or what I'm supposed to find here. I did find a headlamp. I did find that. I did find a PDA thingy thing that I do want to read to you guys because it's actually kind of interesting because it has to do with the Aurora. As you remember, the Aurora. The Aurora is the first ship that we crash landed in. In the first subnautica game oh diamond and we got a pda about them so let me grab this and i'll read that so it says was unexplained ion signature linked to the aurora's disappearance an unusual ion signature on the edge of altera space has scientists baffled and some have drawn a connection with a similar echo detected around the time of the aurora's reported crash landing how the two might be connected is an open question and many in the scientific community maintain they are unrelated and explained by natural phenomenon or even altera secretly testing new technologies fuel has been added to the fire but altera's refusal to release its full data on the aurora accident and recent indications from sources that they will be revising up their list of expected casualties without revealing where this information is coming from. It has now been months since the sunbeam went quiet with no new information. The salvage teams continue their long journey to 4546. So what I'm guessing this is, is the ion signature is probably that giant cannon that shot the aurora out of the sky. Same thing with the sunbeam. That's why they're quiet. They got shot down. So I'm guessing both of the ion signatures, one is the aurora and the other one's the sunbeam. Unless, you know, the architect in this world have just been getting real giddy and just shooting up everyone but if we keep going down here you know what i'm gonna go back and get taco real quick because i did make the depth module in between this episode and last episode so he is going to be able to survive like the long trip down it's just going to be really hard to get him down here because i'm going to show you guys how to get down here it is very very tight like it's super tight to get down here like i was banging everything that's why i didn't bring taco but i just really hope that i remember how to get up there Ow, fuck. You done yet? You done yet? Thank you. Taco, what's up, my man? All right, you're going to be coming with me. I'm just going to warn you, Taco. It's going to be a real tight fit. Ah. Ow. I really hope I brought my repair tool because if I didn't, RIP Taco. Ow, ow. You could squeeze through. You got that. You got that. Ow. Don't blow up. 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 That wasn't that bad. Taco. Ow. All right. So I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring Taco to where I saw the prawn suits. And then I'm just going to drop him off there because I can't scan anything when I'm inside Taco. I'm so sorry. I don't know what the fuck I just hit, but I am so sorry. Oh my God. What do I keep hitting? You guys are just doing this to yourself at this point. Listen, man, I didn't mean to do this to your family. So I'm just let you be free. Okay. Cause I didn't mean to do that. But, uh, look at that. We got prawn suit fragment and there should be a third one don't worry don't do it to me please okay so i have another pda mining site delivery oh, who the fuck Cameron? can i get you to sign off here what is all this i don't know some kind of measuring equipment lil said she'd send someone over to set it up later ah alien science nonsense i wouldn't say that you should ask her to show you some of her findings pretty interesting stuff there might really be someone down there Ask me. Scientists have too much control over here. What? I'm serious. Look around you. This mining facility extracts every mineral your scientists use to make their equipment. Their bases, their scanners, even your little sea trucks. I wouldn't call them little. Do you know the name of a single person who works down here? Well, I know you, Marvin. Ah, tell Lillian she's wasting her time. There's nothing down here but workers, and we already know we don't spark her curiosity. This is, I think that's the first time I've met Parvin. I don't remember him in a PDA, but he's very annoying. Very negative. I don't like that about him. Open scanner room. Locates resources. Tech already in PDA. Cut open to access. Oh, yeah, I haven't made a cutter yet. More rubies. Yeah, coming back here like with... Oh, wait. Last prawn suit I need. And I can finally make a prawn suit. That's dope. So what were they mining down here? If this is the US military we're talking about, I'm guessing they're looking for oil because you know how much they love oil. Uh, another PA. Aurora wreckage located. Survive. Wait, hold on. Wait, what? 
Huh? Altera has released voice recordings which confirm survivors of the Aurora crash. The transmission came from trade ship Sunbeam, which was passing nearby when it detected their SOS. Hey Altera, we've got one of your birds in the soup over here. What? I've... Why... Why'd you say it like that? Like, there's just... I'm just gonna skip past that, man. Looks like they took... <coughs> survivors were moving in for a closer look while the number of survivors is not yet known nor the true state of the ship it is now known that she has landed with her hull largely intact on planet 4546b smaller than earth and largely waterbound it is thought the planet has a breathable atmosphere and hopes have been raised all around keep your hopes pretty low because uh my boy riley i think that was his name the janitor dude he was the only survivor the sunbeam is registered as a five-seater cargo vessel that thing was way bigger than five people insufficient to evacuate the crew or cargo the aurora but perhaps enough to assess the situation and reassure shareholders at home that their investment is secure. There is at least a one month delay on transmissions from that region of space. In the meantime, Altera is working on every possible solution, including an innovative idea to transmit the blueprints for a purpose-built rocket, which could be constructed using materials salvaged from the Aurora and the planet itself. That's what we had to do. We had to make a fucking a rocket and bring our own asses home because they couldn't come get me and now my boy riley is like billions and maybe trillions it was i don't know what kind of debt he was in but he was in a lot of debt thermal plant fragment i don't think i have this made yet so this is perfect this place is a lot bigger than i would have thought that's actually why the what the fuck why were you holding it like that i don't like how quiet it is down here it's very eerie were, you, were they using you to do their dirty work sir were they using you to do your dirty work don't punch me again i'm just asking you a question it's a fucking interview how are you supposed to mine underwater though i mean i know that we can do it in real life but like it must suck having to do this all when you're like floating around basically yeah i would absolutely hate this i'm not exactly claustrophobic maybe i don't know i definitely don't like tight spaces i'm definitely like the type of person where if i'm in you know what now that I'm actually thinking about it, I probably am claustrophobic because I am the type of person who like if I'm in an enclosed space or if I'm in like a very tight space, I can't breathe. So maybe I am claustrophobic. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm actually like really curious. So you know how like people who are claustrophobic whenever they say they can't breathe? Is that because I just keep hitting you guys? Like I am so sorry. You know how they say like they can't breathe and stuff like that? Is it like genuinely they can't breathe or is it just kind of like a feeling and you're just hyperventilating? probably the second one right now the thing is there, like this game has introduced a lot more characters than the first one did but you don't see any of them so it's kind of just like what happened to all of them what happened to fred what happened to all these people who are supposed to be out here doing some sort of work like there's no way all of them like packed up and just went home right where is this um eight six hundred meters away from my base i did not go far delta station dock is right there well so this was pretty interesting um although i did come down here originally to try to find that artifact and i don't know where it is but i guess this is where they were mining the planet for resources you know us humans we can't go to another planet without you know harvesting its resources yeah, is there anything i'm missing so if i go this i oh i haven't gone this way yet here we go all right alan talk traces of information suggesting what has become of my people is that all you is that all you got so like before i scan it this this looks like some sort of like goddess almost as if like this is someone that they worship the statue could service a cultural marker possible religious artifact that's what i'm guessing it is or artistic expression if it is artistic expression then shit good job i suppose this is everything that's here i don't see anything else all right so usually when i go back into my sea truck um this man alan has something to say to me you got nothing to say you made me come all the way down here just to show me a statue and not give me information about said statue alan look at that bro i'm damaging my sea truck for you i will be honest though yes this map is smaller than the original subnautica map and like i've heard before i'm guessing this is supposed to be some sort of like dlc uh instead of like a why the hell did you just load in my face like that but yeah this is supposed to be like a dlc i think it wasn't supposed to be like a full-fledged thing let me wait for this thing to blow up because I don't want to be there when it does. So it makes sense that the map is smaller because they couldn't make a full-fledged map. But uh, one thing they did improve in this game is the cave system is a lot better than the first one. The first one, the caves were cool and all. They are very like one one dimension, one-sided. I'm not going to lie, this is kind of disorienting. How do I get out of here? Taco made it in here somehow. So he has to find a way out of here. Did I go down the wrong hole? Yeah, maybe I just went through the wrong hole. Is it over here? Why do you guys do that? Why do you guys just like spawn out of nowhere? You guys could have just impaled me. I think, okay, is this it? Is this, is this how I came up? Will you fit, Taco? Will you fit? Will you fit? Will you fit? 
No. This is so disorienting, man. Like, I feel... So, I'm so sorry, you guys, if, like, I'm moving around so much. But I just don't know how to get out of here. Taco, please. I, I don't want to leave you behind, Taco. I brought you down here somehow. Ow, bro. I'm just slowly damaging you more and more. I had to cut so much out. I'm so sorry. Like, last time you guys saw me, I was in that cave. I am now at Cody's condo. You guys have no idea how long it took me to get out of there. All right, let's get Taco charging for a bit. I need my repair tool so I can fix him up because he got hurt really badly. And I also need to go get some food. I'm actually really hungry. All right, listen, Taco. It was nothing personal, man. You're just too big. You're too bulky. I, I don't know what else you want from me, man. I'm gonna have to make more solar panels because I feel like everything is just taking up too much power um i did make this thing but i have to go make more like nuclear rods and to actually make them i need uranite crystals lead titanium and glass so i think uranite crystals is the one thing i actually need to like go out and just like gather a whole bunch of because i don't think there's any near my base there is crystalline sulfur which i do need to actually make the laser cutter so i think i'm gonna go do that really quick because i do need oh nope not a creature egg i don't care about your babies i do need that really quick so i can make the laser cutter and then with the laser cutter, I can actually go back to that ship that I found like a while ago. There's some like compartments in that ship that I wasn't able to actually open because I needed to cut them open. So I feel like I'm just going to go check that out really quick. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's, can I like, hold on. Can I like hit him? Nope, nope, nope. I can't. Nope. Laser cutter. Oh, I need to make the battery first. So if I go over here, I should make the battery. And then if I go down here to tools, should be right here. Laser cutter. All right. So I think I'm just going to go over there myself. Actually, no. You know what? I'll take Taco with me just in case, in case I do need air. Um, he's fully charged, so that's good. Bro, I'm telling Taco charges like mad fast. Like Taco will be charging like faster than an iPhone. I feel like at some point, Apple's going to have to like make like a rebrand of the iPhone. I feel like because if we're like five years in the future and we're on iphone 20 i feel like that's just gonna be really hard to market 20 probably not they'll probably just call it like the iphone x2 or something like that to make it look cooler but like imagine like 10 years when it's the iphone 25 nope that still sounds pretty cool let me think of it like a stupid number the iphone 34 that sounds stupid where's the ship oh it's right here all right i don't want to like park taco near the purple things because those things blow up now that i have the rebreather and stuff i can actually do way more so i can cut this thing let's see what happens i better find some cool shit in here if i can't find anything Thing, I'm gonna be so mad. What is this? Parallel processing unit fragment. Oh, wait, this is what I need. This is actually what I do need because that's how I make the uh, little override thing. Last time I was in here, I had to use the mineral tracker, and that was kind of terrible. Now, th there's gonna have to be more of them around here, right? I'm gonna have to like really thoroughly search this ship though because I don't want to miss anything. So, let me just check this floor out first before I go off into other floors. Whenever I cut these things open, it just reminds me of like Star Wars. You know how cool it would be to like cut open a door with a lightsaber? Um, let's see what we got there's a bunch of like mushrooms and shit though it reminds me of like the last of us another thingy thing let's fucking go more copper wire they really love their copper wire in this place i have found a lot of copper wire over here what is this thing oh parallel processing unit fragment dope okay so it's not just in the sealed things I, I don't know why i said sealed like that that was super weird but i can actually check like the things around it so it's definitely got to be in here the third part that i'm looking for it's definitely got to be in here yeah so i really have to find that last one um i've scoured everything on the first floor so i'll go up to the second floor i cut through there am i missing something like where where is it i know i'm an impatient person sometimes but i feel like i should have seen it by now the ship definitely gave me a lot of of, like supplies and shit though so i'm grateful for that all right so i've been searching for a good amount of time and i feel like i've checked everything i could check in this place so i don't think it's in here the third one i, mean, I found two of them which is cool but i can't find the third one but there's no way this is the whole like ship though right like the way it crashed it looks like it's cut in half here so maybe if i go that way i'll find another one that's like deeper maybe all right if my intuition is correct i'm gonna keep going this way that's cool it's like a tree have I ever gone this way? I feel like I've never gone this way. I've definitely not gone this way. What the fuck is this place? Holy shit. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you? Oh, no, 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 please, stop it. No, what? Fuck off. What are you? No, leave me alone. I can't. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I can see your fucking uvula. What the hell was that? What are you? You giant lobster. We got Larry the lobster over here. Look at him. Don't, no, go up. Go up. Go up. Go up, Chris. Go up, Chris. Just go up. Go up. Please. Are you another one? Oh, no. You're just... 
You're just Lenny's cousin. Can I- is- are you a leviathan? What are you? Are- are- I don't think you're a leviathan, but I don't know if you're the same size as like a reaper. I- I- he is big as fuck though, look at his sh- No, I'm going down. I'm going down. I want to go inside this thing though. Will this hurt me? What is this thing? I want to go inside. A vent garden. He's right there. No, no. Th this is no time for looking at beautiful things. This is time to just keep going. But is he a leviathan? Like, is this a thermal? I already have this stuff, so I should be fine. I won't lie. This place is actually like really beautiful though. Well, I want to go near him. What are you, bro? I just, I, again, I'm sorry. I'm curious. What is that thing? You're not a leviathan. I don't think so. You're too small to be one. And if you are, you're like a baby one. You know what he reminds me of? You ever watch Ice Age? And you know like those um, like everything was like melting and shit and then the prehistoric dinosaurs like came out of the ice? That's what it reminds me of. You guys see a ship anywhere? I'm gonna go down a little bit. While I'm here, I might as well explore a bit. Oh wait, while I'm here, let me pick up this, these urinite crystals actually. Well, there's a bunch of them though. You don't tell me what to do. Ion battery. The image is hazy, but I am sure it is correct. The stark surface landscape. Dangerously cold. Curved spires stretch to the sky. The hell are you talking about? Yeah, I do not want to die when I'm down here. Did I make a mistake? Please don't tell me I made a mistake. Can I make it up? Can I make it up? Can I make it up? Please, please, Taco, please. I know you're not a Tesla, but can you please come closer to me? Please, uh... Taco please, 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 please. I'm right here. I'm right here. I am right here, bro. Okay. Oh. Oh my fucking god. Alan, give me a sec. Let me breathe. Okay. All right. What do you want to talk about, bro? Like forgetting someone's birthday. Warning. Maximum death rate. Hull damage imminent. Some quantity of knowledge is lost forever to the next generation. Isn't that Warning you, if you call humanity inefficient one more time, I will swim us both into the mouth of a leviathan. Is that sarcasm? Hey, I'm right next to one, so... How inefficient? Efficiency aside, does the loss of knowledge not create complications? Well, on a personal level, losing someone can be traumatic. But it's harder to process the idea of generational knowledge. Humans aren't networked, so we can't even be aware of what we're losing moment by moment. We try to learn from history. Said him. Maybe it's not ideal, but it's what we have. Yo, hey, Alan, I might say true to my promise. There's one right next to me. You make your own memories and interpretations. You have to experience life as an autonomous being. Discover yourself. That idea is foreign to me. Are we like making Alan human? What, what's going on here? I heard you guys say that I can like turn this sideways. I'll probably do that later. I feel like I got a lot done this episode. I was all the way down there. Um, I got attacked by a leviathan. That's always fun. But I think I'm going to end the episode off here. Let me just drop everything I have off here. So I'm a little bit closer to making that parallel processing unit. I still have to go find the uh, third one, which it's got to be somewhere else. It wasn't in that ship. I swear I wasn't able to find anything. But then again, you guys know I'm pretty stupid, so I'd be missing a lot of stuff. So if I did, let me know. I really do need to make the ultra high capacity tank at some point. I need to find that because I feel like I'm going to start getting into the game, like the part of the game where I need uh, like more oxygen because I'm going to go down deeper now. That also means I'm probably going to have to make my prawn suit pretty soon, which I probably will save for next episode because I can actually make that now. The snow fox, I don't know what it is. I'm guessing it's some sort of like motorcycle for the uh, little ice part. So that'll be good to make, but I'll focus on the prawn suit for now. But uh, yeah, that's it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, share with everyone that you know. But uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. So peace.